Hey y'all, Alexis here. Thank you for joining me for our daily devotion and morning prayer. Today we want to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. It says, But I keep my body under control and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Um, another verse says, But I buffet my body and bring it into bondage. Lest by any means, after that, I have preached to others that I myself will not be rejected. Lord, we just thank you for this word. We thank you for everyone listening, Father God. We pray that it penetrates their hearts and minds, God. We pray that they are open to hear a word from you, Lord. We pray that they will not reject this word, but it shall follow them all the days of their life. Today, we're going to be coming from the topic, Control Your Body. Control Your Body. All right, guys. In this scripture, basically, God is telling us, you have to let your body know who's in control. All right, so think about it. In the morning, every morning, you want to wake up. You want to wake up, and you set that alarm, and then you snooze, snooze, snooze. But subconsciously, you don't know that that's your body controlling you. If you say you want to get up at 5.30, get up. Don't let your body tell you, I'm going to lay down here a few more minutes. I'm going to lay down here a few more minutes. That's a way you can train your body. You say you're going to eat healthy, then you go grab something else. The Bible says, in this flesh dwellers no good things. Yeah, we have to train our bodies. We have to train our bodies to say, no, you're going to crave a lot of stuff. You're going to want to do a lot of stuff. But in your ladder, if you want it to be greater, you have to control it now. You have to tell your body now. You got to put the drink down now. You got to put the, pick the water up now. You got to push the plate back now so that your ladder can be greater. You got to go and get up and go to work so you can be on time. You got to go on and let your body know who's in control. You got to say no. You got to tell your body no. If you say you ain't going to do this, no. Do not let your body control you. Do not let your body control you, but you control your body. And you start each day with a little step by disciplining yourself. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. You say you're going to work out, get up and work out. Whether it be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Do what you said you're going to do. Build your stamina up. Don't let your flesh control you. Buffet your body. That means you got to practice. You got to practice what you preach so that you won't be disqualified. You got to practice. So we want to put that into practice today. Think about some ways that you can buffet your body. Think about some ways that you can discipline your body. And take small steps and continue to push to another level. Because God is requiring things of us. And everything that he has for us, we got to be able to enjoy it. What's the point of God blessing you with all these things in your ladder and you can't enjoy it because you're health? You can't enjoy it because you don't know how to control yourself. You can't control your mouth. You can't control, you know, the things that are in your spear. So we got to get it together, guys. So that's our thought for today. That's our prayer for today. Lord, we just thank you that we are learning. We are growing. We are moving. That we will not let our body control us. We will not let temptation control us. We will not let snooze control us. God, we will get up and be who you have called us to be. We will answer the call. We will answer whatever you have spoken of our life, God. We will do what you have told us to do. We will discipline ourselves, God. We will stop being less than what you have called us to be, God. Greatness lives on the inside of us. Why? Because we have you. So we will rise to the occasion. We will stop being mediocre, but we will be who God has called us to be. We are the called ones. We are the sent ones. We are the light. We are chosen. We are our of a high priesthood, God. We are your children, made in the image of God. How beautiful is that? So, Lord, we declare and decree that we will be who you have called us to be. We love you today. We trust you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all go forth and be great. And remember, you are chosen and your body will not control you. Okay? You got this. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. As always, it's going God. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.